today's video is going to be a dramatic Valentine's Day black smoky eye. Now I have been looking forward to doing a black smoky eye forever and seeing as Valentine's Day is coming up I thought why not do a black smoky eye for Valentine's Day. So that's what I've done and I just love doing this. I did a full black cream base and then patted on some black eyeshadow two different types actually because you want it to stay and not move throughout the night or the day whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day and then I put on like a little thin blending brush I put a burgundy colour which you can use any sort of colour that you really want in that crease and then at the end I just highlighted my brow bone in my inner corner with a really shimmery inner, inner corner highlight and I think it makes the look because without it, you look like you're being punched in the face. But with it, it just looks like a smoky eye. And then I decided for a pinky nudie lip because I went for like a pink blush. And I wanted to match that. And I didn't really want nude or anything because it just looks plain. I hope you guys like this video and um, let's get straight into it. Let's go. So I already have foundation on my face as I have done a first impression on the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. Then onto concealer, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, blending that out with my finger and my Real Technique setting brush. Then to set that in place, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using the two lighter setting shades for underneath the eye and setting that with my Sigma F35 brush. The names of the shades for the Shade and Light Palette will be listed below. And then onto contouring, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation in 330 for cream contouring. And I'm blending that out with my Sigma F. 84 on my cheekbones and forehead and then to blend out my nose contour I'm using my Sigma P86 brush. Now I'm using my Benefit High Beam on my tops of my cheekbone, the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow and I'm just blending that out with my finger and I'm just going to be blending the cheeks down a little bit and blend it a little bit on my chin as there was a little bit too much and I'm blending it also around the eyebrow just on the tip to make it look higher then to set the whole face I am using my Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in transparent and this is just because we don't want any of the color that's on the face already to be changed and then I'm using my Sigma F20 brush and then for contour I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm just using the two lighter contouring shades which will be listed down below as well and to apply that I'm using my MAC 109 brush. For blush today I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in flush and to apply it I'm using my F40 brush and it's a bit too streaky so then I blended that out with my F 15 brush from Sigma. For highlighter I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and and I'm applying that with my F35 brush from Sigma. Now I'm just applying a lip mask from Bite Beauty just to prep my lips for the lipstick later. Now on to eyes and I'm using my NARS Eye Paint in Black Valley and applying that with my Sigma E58 brush and I'm just applying this on one eye all the way up to the crease and not in the crease and then I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and I'm using the shade Black Market and my MAC 242 brush and that's just going to set the cream base in place and I'm just patting that into place over the Black Valley eye paint and that's just on one eye and then we're going to do that to the other eye just the exact same way Now I'm going to use my Make Geek Eyeshadow in Bitten and my Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to 
blend that into the crease just right up above the black valley and the black eyeshadow and we're making this very blended and circular motions and then to blend that out just a little bit we're taking the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and I'm using the shade Combust and the Sigma E35 brush and this is just to blend out the bitten color now I'm going to use the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Corrupt oh, and my MAC 242 brush and I'm just applying that over the black eyeshadow that we've already got now I'm using the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Corrupt again and this time I'm using it with my E30 brush from Sigma and this is just to get in all the little crevices and to make a little V on the outer corner just to elongate the eye and then I'm using my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to use this to blend out the eyeshadow black market eyeshadow from the Naked Smoky palette again and my Sigma E30 brush we're going to apply this on the lower lash line and then we're going to blend it out with the Bitten eyeshadow and our Sigma E25 brush and then for highlighter I'm using my NYX eyeshadow in Barely There and my Sigma E20 brush and this is just to highlight the brow bone and then I'm going to be using my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Shimmer Shimmer and my Sigma E55 brush and this is just going to go on the inner corner right on the inner corner and just like blend it into the black a little bit you can see what I'm doing here now for mascara I'm using I'm first using the Benefit Air Real Mascara on the top lashes only at the moment and then I decided it needs a bit more oomph so I decided to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and this is just on the top lashes as well and then I use my MAC on my MAC Coal Power, Power Eye Pencil in Feline on my waterline and then I just apply the same two mascaras on my bottom <coughs> lashes and then I also apply another two, few coats on the top <coughs> lashes and now for lips I am using my Bite Beauty Luminous Cream Lipstick in Fig and this is just a nudie pink lip This is the final look, this is just freshly washed hair with like nice curls, I didn't even do anything to it just brushed it This is my dramatic Valentine's Day look I love the eyes, they're probably You've got to wait until like the really end when you're doing a black smoky eye with a burgundy because it might look like you're like punched in the face during it because that's what I thought at one point but just got to keep blending and yeah it looks okay it may look a bit punched in the face but you can always change the crease color out I would also suggest putting the crease color in before you do the black I forgot about that but yeah this is how I do a black smoky eye you can use a gel eyeliner or the NARS eye paint or some sort of like eye tattoo or something um, some sort of gel cream base for your eyes and that's what I used and then I pat it on black eyeshadow don't swipe it because you'll get fallout and then I just put this burgundy colour, you can put a purple, sort of, you can put a brown, you could put a silver, you could put a grey, you could put virtually any single colour you want in your crease. Any colour in your crease would look great and all you have to do is just blend it out and it becomes like this. And I suggest doing the eye paint or the cream base so your color doesn't move throughout the day because I've done it without it and with it but sometimes they don't work all the time you've got to pack on a lot of the black eyeshadow that's why I use two different eyeshadows this is just my flawless base with black smoky eye and a pink lip it's just like a nudie pink lip because you didn't I didn't really want anything to out there so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you do and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thanks guys